In this video, we're going to have a look at how to create a nice smooth hover animation that you can apply to any content. So you'll see here that we've just applied to the single item, and I'm going to show you how you can then apply that to any item. We'll also convert the animation to a class, and then that, of course, makes it easy to apply anywhere. So if I head back to the content area, you'll see here that I've applied it to this particular element. And what I'm going to do is remove that hover. So we're going to remove that hover effect. And now you'll see that there's no animation applied. And also then on the front end, there's no animation. So let's have a look and see how we make this possible. And to do that, then uh, what I want to do is just remove this, some of these transition settings here because they are also needed uh, when we're looking at the normal state. So right there we have the content element with no settings applied. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, look at a transition so you can you know look at uh, different transitions but before we do that we need to do a transformation and um, the transformation that we're going to do will, will be a scale transformation so the object enlarges now you can apply rotation translate uh, rotate x y perspective rotate 3ds but the scale one is quite a nice one and then the scale size um, we're just going to go up a little bit and here you work in points so you don't go with 100% 200% it would be 1.1 would be 10% bigger 1.2 20% so we only need to apply that to the x and y so they both scale up equally and we can see what that looked like and okay what we need to do though is apply this to the hover state and not the normal state so what I'm going to do is close that and then I'm going to change the state here to hover. And then we're going to add the transform. So we go to the transform to scale and 1.1 and 1.1. So now this is going to apply to the hover effect. If I then save that and head over to the website, you'll see that that transition has been applied, but it's definitely not smooth. It's very um, instant. So to change that, what we need to do is we need to add a transition. Transition from the normal um, to the hover state. And here we can set the duration. And once again here, work in points. So you'll see if you move the, sc the scale here, it also then only from 0 to 1. So we want to look at something around 0 0.2. 0 0.1 is still a little bit fast. Then we have the timing function. So two of the popular ones are ease in or ease out. So I'm going to ease out, which means it eases out. So it kind of slows down towards the end. And that's all that I need to do. There'll be no delay. It will be instant the moment you move your mouse. And there's no CSS properties required. And we'll save that. Head over to the website. Refresh. And now you'll notice that when you move your mouse over, we have the nice smooth effect. But when it returns to the normal state, it still has a, a very sharp ending so to create that um, nice smooth ending we're going to change from the hover state we're going to change then back to the original and we're going to add in a transition duration here as well and a timing function here we'll also go with ease out and save that and now you'll see that um, we have that smooth transition you'll see it's even available here in the back end or if I go to the website we have a nice smooth transition right so then to apply this to a class then what I'm going to do is head over uh, we can change the state back to original um, why is that still okay I don't know why We can change. Okay, and there we're back to the um, original state. And we, let's add a new class. So the class, um, I like to prefix my classes so that they are easy to um, identify. So I'll just call that hover scale, right? And we'll add the class. And then the nice thing about oxygen is if I want to move my settings over to a class, I can simply then select that copy styles here and apply to the hover so 
that will then apply. Now it's copied more styles than I needed just for the animation. So in this case, it would have copied the content styles across as well. Let's save that. And if I want to apply that to the other elements now, I can simply select them. And now because I know the prefix for my styles, that they're easy to find. There's the hover and then to this item as well. Um, hover scale, save, head over to the website, refresh. And we now have that applied to all those elements. If I want to, I can apply to some text as well. So if I scale down, head over to the text and hover scale, you'll see that we now have that scale effect applied to the showcase. Let's refresh. And now showcase also has that hover effect. Right, so that's how easy it is then to apply the smooth animation to an object in Oxygen Builder. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching.